takers. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody? Good. Um, I'm Ben Salzman. I run the business team at Kahuna, and Kahuna is marketing automation for mobile. So we are focused on sending the right message to the right person at the right time on the right device. And you know, Kahuna was built on the idea that mobile is going to be the future and that most companies aren't investing nearly fast enough to put the infrastructure in place to make it work. So when we went out to start this company, I'll give you a little bit of background on why. We talked to the head of mobile at PayPal, at LinkedIn, and a bunch of the leaders in mobile. And we asked them, how many users do you have? They said 20 million. We said, is that installs or is that users? They said, that's installs. We said, how many users do you have? Oh, 10 million, right? Is it monthly actives? No, that's 5 million. And how many of those people are on multiple devices? Uh, that's, you know, maybe more like 3 million. Okay, great. And so when we looked at it, we felt like the biggest problem in mobile was the gap between the installs and the number of engaged users. And it felt like that was a problem we wanted to go out and solve. And when we looked at it, the data tells us that about 90% of installs, whether they're purchased or acquired you know, organically, equals zero dollars for the app maker. And we said, this is a problem that we want to address. And you know, looking at the teams that were put in place to sort of address the marketing needs for most companies, you have 40, peop uh, 40 people on an email team and half a person focused on push. While most of the traffic is, is heading towards mobile, none of the actual investments reflect that. And so we said we're going to build the best company in the world at sending really relevant, really timely, really good push notifications that users are actually excited to get, right? So with that, I'm going to do a quick demo and show you how this platform works. Um, so this is an engagement map. I'm able to see all of my users in real time by engagement state across all of my platforms. So if I click on my dormant users, I'm able to go in into the campaign creator and select an automatic push campaign. And I decide, okay, I want to market to my dormant users who have been in the dormant segment for three days. I select the events that I want to filter on. So I will say, I want to say everyone who has added to cart but hasn't made a purchase. And then I go and I say, okay, I actually want to find the people who are the whales, right? Let me find those high LTV users, people who have, you know, shown the interest in purchasing something, you know, very expensive, right? So maybe let's say more than $100. And I go to create my message. And I'm able to actually create a personalized message at scale. So what that means is I can type out a message that says, you know, hi, first name, um, ready to purchase that last item added to cart. So this is the example of being able to send a really personalized message at massive scale. Um, so I can go ahead and send an alternate message and to do up to five different messages against each other to see which one performs the best. And I can do a control group as well. You can deep link to a specific place within your app. If you can go to the next step. And then I can actually schedule this message out. So I can say, okay, I either want to send this at a specific time or I want to send this at the time that makes the most sense for each individual that I'm sending it to. So I'm able to actually see within each user profile what time that person is most likely to engage with my app. So I can schedule it with send optimally. I can select a goal to be able to track the specific event or the specific uh, actual outcome and be able to launch this campaign directly from the platform. So the idea was to give a tool that's owned and operated by marketers that allows them to easily create behavior-based rules that maximize usage and revenue across all platforms with a real big focus on mobile. Okay, time's up. Congratulations. <laughs> Question? So does this work beyond commerce? So for example, if I have the ABC Watch app, I want them to tune into a, another show, and they haven't used it in three days, just like this example I showed here. But you know that they were a watch, you know, watch uh, Dancing with the Stars. Can you push, do push notifications to get them to tune back in? Absolutely. So we can install our SDK across web, mobile web, Android, and iOS, and we're able to digest any behavior that you send to us, either through the SDK or from your back end. So any information that you pass to us we can run really great campaigns on. So if we know that that person hasn't been seen in the ABC Watch app, but they're logged into your website and we know they have an affinity for a certain program, marketing to the, them based on what they actually do as an individual is really powerful. So you, gave, you gave some stats at the beginning that I thought were really pointing about the activity and in, 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 you know, unengaged users. What, what are the results? I mean, from the early 
users of the platform? Yeah, great question. So 1-800 Flowers is one of our customers saw a 42% increase in purchases on Valentine's Day and a 320% increase in engagement. And that was because they switched from sending, hey, we're great, come back, to, hey, how about getting your wife flowers again because she loved those tulips last year, right? So sending a message that's actually like content to someone and something that they're actually delighted to get because like, wow, this is really helpful, right? So those are some of the results. Um, some of the campaigns we're running for Yahoo Sports are running at over 60% engagement rate because we truly understand the affinity of each user. So if you've looked at PGA scores over and over again over time, but you go away for 30 days, we're able to know this is something that this person cares about. And when you send that message Sunday morning before Adam Scott goes and chokes away the tournament, it's really powerful. <laughs> and, it, and is the person who wrote, who's managing this platform the mobile guy or gal, or like who's the person? You know, we have different people with different customers, but this is built to be owned and operated by the mobile marketer. And what's interesting about this market is the mobile marketer is someone who's just getting their job in a lot of companies, right? There's like 50 people on Google AdWords and analytics, and one person thinking about what to do about mobile. So it's usually the mobile marketer. Do you have a 40 second synopsis on what an integration looks like, or 10 seconds in terms of like how hard it is to push this data through the SDK? Yeah, so you know, we do a lot of the work to make it easy to install it, but the SDK was integrated or was designed to be integrated in about 60 minutes for the most advanced implementations. And a lot of that is engineering work, and a lot of that's the work of people on my team who help customers think about these are the events and attributes that will allow you to run really good campaigns. And it's hooked into the app or into a back-end uh, BI system? Both. Mostly focused on the SDK and the app. Well, was, I, I, you had an interesting kind of you said something interesting at the beginning, which I felt like you could have said at the very beginning, which was we're bridging the gap between installs and active users. Like anybody who has a mobile app, that's probably one of the, their biggest, if not the biggest challenge across the board. Yeah. Why not lead with that and then tell them what you are? Um, yeah. I just think that's that's such a good hook. There's no reason to bury it. Yeah. Any questions or comments? Yeah. Uh, Jason, can you guys geolocate? Is location, can you track someone when they get within like 50 feet of a Disney store or something like that? So any information that the company or the customer passes us, we can run campaigns on. So often people are passing us information about location, like zip code, so city, can. things like that. Um, nothing to announce today with cameras rolling, okay. um, but it's something we're thinking very hard about. Okay. I'd just make one comment. Uh, I guess one of the things that at least for me has been missing in this and and the space generally is, this is awesome for generating segments, for using segments, but there's an infinite number of segment permutations. Yep. And what would be awesome would be what I call auto segmentation. Suggest me four se segments that I should use. Yeah. Um, and, go back to the dashboard. Because uh, what I find is a lot of marketers, they'll choose 10 things that come to mind, like <coughs> single guys that like pet food. Yeah. And I'd be like, no, 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 why don't we do people that bought blue slippers on Sundays. Yeah. And I was like, well, okay, let's test both. But you never know what to choose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what's missing out there is like, here are the four things you really should think about. Yeah. And, and that's something that probably could be verticalized and such. I mean, one of the things that we found early on was people didn't have this, right? Like how many of your users are engaged? They're like, oh. Right? They know that on the web, but they don't really know that on mobile. But it's a, it's a, fair, it's a fair point. It's something we'll think about. <laughs> We think it's email 10 years later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any parting thoughts? No? Okay. Thank you.